Hello everybody, Hey, Rudy Field is my name, and I'm a viticulture development officer with the New South Wales DPI, based at the National Wine and Grape Industry Centre in Wagga And previous to my employment with the New South Wales DPI, I was raised and grew wine grapes on my family's property near Mildura in northwest Victoria. During my 11 years of vineyard management, I saw firsthand the many challenges facing the Australian wine industry both now and into the future. But at the same time, I experienced the many rewarding aspects of being involved in Australian primary production. I'm the author and project lead for Vinewatch, which is just one of the ways the New South Wales DPI supports the New South Wales wine industry. However, challenges do remain. The New South Wales wine industry is the most diverse of any state in Australia. Our viticulture regions are spread out across large distances and they also differ significantly in climate, soils and viticultural management practices. I may be a little bit biased, but right here in New South Wales, we do produce the world's best wine. Our world-class viticulturalists and winemakers are supported by innovative and world-leading research, development and extension, not only by the New South Wales DPI, but other Australian, New South Wales, uh, other Australian research providers. Through the GATE process, I have developed an online, online web-based portal for VineWatch, where growers can simply log on to select a region and view a report or a snapshot of what is happening in their region. These snapshots uh, comprise information in the form of fact sheets and videos that help vineyard managers um, manage their vineyards uh, with the latest research information. At, the re at our recent Spring Vine Health Field Days, I validated with over 100 growers at three workshops what they would like to see included in a redesigned and redeveloped vine watch. The key feedback that I received was the growers would like to see an improved delivery system that delivers the information straight into their pockets or mobile devices in the field to assist management decisions. They would also like to see timely reports so the time that I receive the regional reports to the time of publication can be improved. They would also like to see increased uh, analysis of weather conditions and uh, through weather forecasting and weather station data to make um, better disease, pest and disease predictions so that VineWatch becomes more proactive into the future as well. But most importantly, Growers want to see increased communication from research providers, once again, to support their management decisions in the field. So what are the next steps? I'm here today to ask any Australian research providers, particularly those that are involved in the Australian wine industry, any sponsors, any farmers, any software developers or software engineers who would like to create a truly interactive RDNE platform for the New South Wales wine industry to contact me. Who knows what VineWatch can become? The recent boom in Australian wine exports to China have been, um, have occurred due to our clean green image, our, our exceptional wine quality, but most importantly the value that Australian wine has in this particular marketplace. However, competition from other, other overseas markets is increasing. So to stay on top, I'd like to improve through adoption of the latest research and development, grape and wine quality in New South Wales to help drive the premium paid for New South Wales wine. For those of you who are on your phones, I haven't spotted anybody in the audience yet, please check out the online portal that I've developed through the GATE program that's available at all the W's dot NSWDPI dot com, sorry, NSWDPIVineWatch dot com dot AU. 
I'd love to have a chat with you and run you through the online portal and also have a discussion about some of the wonderful wine regions that are right here at your doorstep in New South Wales. Thank you.